Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've been gone. I just got stuff going on. So we're just going to jump right into it today. We are reviewing a product today. So disclaimer, this was provided to me at no cost. And I'm going to cover up my address here. But invoice says no cost. So this is going to be a piece of backpack armor. Literally goes in your backpack from Safe Life Defense. Um, the, the, I'm going to go through the material that came with it, then I'll show you how I'm using it. Started carrying it a couple days ago. So far, so good. I mean, it's backpack armor. It sits on your back. It's not a big of a deal. According to the invoice, backpack armor, threat level 3 alpha plus, handgun, shotgun, strike, slash, stab, taser, and AP. Done with that. So, nice little card right here. Warranties, two-year warranty on carriers and pouches, five-year warranty on ballistic protection, and lifetime warranty on belts. So not too bad to start off with. Guarantees, 30-day fit guarantee, 30-day satisfaction guarantee, and lifetime customer support. So huge thanks for you guys sending this out over at Safe Life Defense. I appreciate it because I have worn body armor professionally for many years, but I've never had the chance to destroy some. So you know it's coming because I'm gonna destroy this. And if I can't destroy it with pistols, which I'm not gonna be able to because all I have is a nine mil, then I'm going to destroy it with my rifle. But that'll be in the future, it's not gonna be today. Um, and then un under that on that card, it's got some contact information. Done with that. Armor testing booklet, it actually sends you a booklet and I'm assuming most companies do this. I don't know, I've never ordered armor before. Um, it goes through the 3A certification process and then flip again and it's got extra pages for 3A+. Um, they tested results from 9mm 50 grain Liberty Civil Defense, passed at 2,000 feet per second. It's pretty light round. Um, also 357 SIG Full Metal Jacket at almost 1,400 feet per second and just over, pass. 357 SIG FMJ, like there's a lot of other projectile, small projectile weight differences and velocities in here, all passed. Flip over to the next page, we are on the second part of it. 44 Magnum Soft Jacket Hollow Point SJHP. Pretty sure that's what that stands for. Pass, 1400 feet per second, roughly 1350, sorry. And then stab resistant and all that good stuff. I am not just, I'm just gonna tell you now, I am not gonna stab this thing with a knife because even though like the knife I carry has a, a guard, if my hand slips past that because I'm trying to be cool and stab through some armor, like, I, you know, that's Stitches Day. I don't like Stitches Day. I've had too many of those days in the past. So, let's get straight into the armor. I have it in a backpack. It is in this Everly Stock bag that I carry for different purposes. Right now, it's got a bunch of stuff in it that I am using for um, uh, athletic camp that I am training. So, I'm going to pull all this stuff out just to show you that, yes, I am using this bag. I didn't want to pull up an empty bag and show you, oh, I'm not using this. So I've got some cones in here, got my measuring wheel, some more cones. Uh -uh. My notebook, a sweater because it was a little chilly last night. And then right inside of here in the hydration sleeve, you can see I've placed the armor. Fits in here very nice. It's very small. Um, there's a lap. I call it the hydration sleeve. It might just be a laptop sleeve. The one in front of it's a little bit smaller. Um, it doesn't fit in that one, but that's okay. So I'm gonna throw the backpack over here and show you the armor. So it comes on a nice cover. It's got a Cordura cover. It's got their logo as you can see here. Whoop, whoop. Actually tells you right here, wear face or wear face this side towards your body. So it would be right here. Um, my idea of this, um, other than somebody reaching out to me, a reputable company reaching out to me and saying, hey, would you like this product to throw on your channel? Sure, why not? I get a lot of channels that are, or uh, people that just try to contact me through the, my channel website, and e or email rather, and they want to say, hey, let me test this laser bore solder. No, everybody's doing that crap. I'm not doing that. And so this is a very reputable company. They make good stuff. And so I said, yeah, let's do it. No money has exchanged hands and no compromise as far as we will give you this plate if you say these things. 
I was very specific. I said, I want to be honest with my viewers, yada, yada, yada. And the, the director that I talked to said, absolutely. That's our only communication. He said, here's the plate. That's it. Be honest. And so I think they're very confident in what they've got. So I'm going to reach out a screen here because I forgot to grab my tape measure. And then back. So we are looking at 14 inches, top to bottom, left to right, 11 inches with, and I didn't account for the cuts here. Thickness, oh man, this is half inch. So it's pretty, pretty small. And weight wise, I didn't bring my scale up here. It's not, you know, I, I wouldn't notice this extra piece of anything in my backpack. Usage for this, if I were a maybe tad bit more paranoid, would say if I'm in big crowds, I would wear a small backpack within the back there. Um, worst case scenario, if some, something went down and I'm somewhere, a shooting happened and I've gotten a backpack, I'm gonna flip that backpack around and put it on my chest. If I'm running away from the danger, I would leave the backpack on and it would be on my back and it would stop pistol rounds. Um, this is where you would want to stop any rounds from penetrating your body. Um, you got your heart and your lungs and all that good stuff and all the vascular system that goes in here. And this plate will do, we'll see, but it'll do what it says. It's, it's rated. Um, fairly flexible. You can feel it. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I've not ever used pistol armor before. I've had plate armor. That's about it. I mean, it does have a softer backing on the inside, so there's a little bit of give on the backside, but not on the front where the strike face is. And so, for now, I have kept it in, excuse me, this bag. I've been carrying it for four days, three days now. Um, it's going to be carried for a few more days. And then I am going to go out to my property, and I'm going to shoot it. I've got some clay coming in. We're going to put some clay behind it. I want to shoot it with the pistol, see the uh, deformation in the clay, um, all that good stuff. But I want to give you guys an honest review of what it is and how I would use it. I'm not so paranoid that I think I need armor like everywhere I go all the time. But it's one of those things like, well, if I've got it, I might as well have it. I don't personally think I'm going to go extreme here. I don't think that my kids need this in their backpacks. Um, the probability of a school shooting is so low, so low, that for me right now, I don't see the need for that. If the threat was much higher, and to say one in a million even, for the, for the exponential factor there, if it was a less than one in a million, I'd probably just pull them out of school and homeschool. That's probably what I would do. Some people may think that's extreme, some people may not, you know. That's, that's not for me to decide, but I digress. Um, I will be shooting this with nine millimeter. That's the only pistol round I shoot. Um, I'm not generally thinking I'm gonna get in a gunfight with somebody with a 44 Magnum. This is probably not gonna happen. Um, I've got 120, or 115, 124, and 147 grain, uh, nine millimeter I can shoot at it. Hollow point and full metal jacket. Um, so I'll, I'll be doing that in the very near future in the next video concerning this plate. Um, when that passes, and it will, because it's good reputable armor, I'll show the deformities in the clay, then I will put it in a bag, not that one. I will put some school books in it, and I'm going to shoot it with a pistol. It's not going to go through probably even the school books. When it fails, or, or when it fails to penetrate, then I'm going to shoot it with my rifle rounds. Because I think, if I shoot a 308 or 223, I'll start with 223, probably do Grindel, then 308 at pretty close range, I think that the bullet will stop either in the books, or if it passes through the books, it will slow it down so much that the armor will still be effective on that rifle round. Again, I'm gonna attempt to have that clay on the back side of it to show any deformity if that occurs. If it penetrates, then we're gonna see a massive explosion of clay. And then I think we all win. But at least we'll know, hey, these are the extreme limits of it. You know, so uh, we'll have this coming really soon. Hopefully in the next week or so, I've got kids coming into town, so I'm gonna be busy for the next four or five days, but after that, I will get out to my farm and get to shooting on that clay and on that plate. But until then, um, I wanna say a um, um, huge thank you to Safe Life Defense for sending that out and allowing me to be honest with you guys, the viewers. And so look forward to that. And until then, check out my shorts. I'm trying to do more short videos and things like that for reloading and little things that I'm doing with my gun content. So until then, stay tactical.